Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I'm one of the authors of Technic.com. Today, we're going to continue with our course. We're going to look at how to create groups, hide and remove users from a group in Linux. In our previous lessons, we've looked at how to create users and how to password users and expire a user's password. All right. So in Linux, um, there are basically two types of groups and we have the primary group and the secondary group. So what is the primary group? Before I forget, if you're writing a Linux exam, all right, just scroll down to the end of this uh, website. I'm going to be dropping the um, link to this website in the description section below, all right? So you can just pick the dumps, which is the practice question of the kind of exam you want to write. So for example, this is average CSA 8 dumps, all right? So we're gonna be updating it with the LFCS dumps and um, the um, SUSE Linux practice questions as well, all right? Okay, so what is a primary group? When a user is created, a primary group for that user is also automatically created. So which is the same name used in creating the user. So, you know, in our previous lessons, we were able to create some users and for us to be able to see the attributes of the users, we will check the etc password file, all right? So this is one of the users we created. This is a user, Victor. So when this user is created, okay, automatically a primary group for this user too is created. You can see the user ID for Victor to be 1001, all right? So um, the group information is stored in etc slash group file, okay? So if you open this file, you can also see the group, which is Victor. So the, the primary group is automatically created and has the same ID, which is 1001, as the user ID, Victor 1001, okay? So when you create a user, okay? a group a primary group is automatically created also and this is done for um security purposes all right and um no user can have more than one primary group all right so like if you um create the user victor is automatically a member of its primary group victor so no user can have more than one primary group but users can have more than uh, one secondary group Okay, so let's uh, look at what um, a secondary group is. All right, so a secondary group is the second, third, N group that is added to a user. All right, so in other words, um, the secondary group is the other group a user is added to. So um, a us the user Victor can be added to um, another group, for example, can be added to the group finance. That's, that finance group will be a secondary group. The Victor can also be added to a group HR, you know, that's uh, a secondary group that uh, for, for, for the user Victor. So a user can be added to more than one secondary groups. So let's understand um, the group attributes. Let me just clear my screen. All right, so the group information file is found in the ETC group file. All right, so you can see the group HR department. This first field represents the name of the group, all right? While the second field is the password field, all right? And the password can be found in a location etc shadow file. We're not going to look at that in this um, lesson. And the third field is the group ID, which is 2001. This is the group ID. And the fourth field, um, the fourth and the fifth, this one, um, having the name Oluwa Tomisin and Victor, all right? So um, this field are the names of the users in the group. So like um, the Oluwa Tomisin is the user in this HR department group, while um, the another user, which is um, Victor, is also a member of this um, HR department. All right, so let's look at some um, groups and users management related commands. So for example, we have um, the group add command. This command is used to add um, or to create a group, okay? So we also have the user mode command. This is used to modify users account and add users to a group. We also have the group del command, all right? So this utility is used to delete a group. We also have the, um, the user del command. This is used to delete uh, 
a user from a group, we also have the um, password command, password command. This is used to password or change your user's password. We have the group mode command. This command is used to modify the group settings. And we have the new group command. All right. So this is used to um, log into a new group. Okay, so having understood the concepts and terminologies behind creating groups on Linux, so we're going to look at how to create groups and manage groups with examples in our next lesson. All right, so thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.